love free hotel breakfast. Especially when it comes with octopus hot dogs. <laughs> I guess that's a quadruplus hot dog. We are pumped to be back in Bangkok because they have our favorite street food in the world. Time for lunch. And after lunch, we're going to a very important meeting. It's the entire reason we came back here to Bangkok. Let's go. up on delicious food and it is about a hundred degrees out here so we're gonna go see if we can find some air conditioning to eat in it. This is like the most sanitary street stalls I've ever seen in my life. Once again though I'm a little insulted by their utensil choice. These are the best. All right let us know how they compare to the Cambodian coconut balls. They're like even better. I'm figuring out how to make these when we go home. They told us this was Pad Thai, but I'm pretty sure they just didn't know the translation for whatever it actually was. <laughs> whatever it is, it's delicious. This cost, this entire feast cost 145 baht which is $4.15 US. This is the reason I love Bangkok. Nate also got a mystery bowl. I think they were trying to tell us it was Tom Yum. She just called it Yum. Yum. So, is that okay? It's very colorful. I got my own utensils. The squid was also on ice before he cooked it, which is rare. Never seen that in my life. Usually it's just sitting out in the sun, rotting. How is it? Mm. All the vegetables are like very lightly cooked, so they're so crunchy. And it's like a little spicy and a little fishy. It was pretty good. The real reason that we're back in Bangkok is to meet up with a lady named Bonita who's partnered with our church back home. Bonita moved here in 2006 and started a safe home for women who have been involved in the sex trafficking industry here in Bangkok. We don't know a ton of statistics or much about it yet, and so we're about to meet up with her at Starbucks to learn more. All right, let's go. We think this is Kara's name in Thai. Kara. <laughs> this is Roy. Bonita's husband and he is taking us to the home of New Beginnings which is their safe house for the girls that have been in sex trafficking. I'm Nate. Nice to meet you. I'm Kara. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Bibi, my daughter. Bibi, nice to meet you. So how many girls are here now? Now we have 12 girls. So this area of Thailand is like the, the poorer area, yeah. and that's why they all come all to Bangkok. Come to Bangkok. Yeah. So nice, nice to have you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. So much. We just got back from hanging out at the home of New Beginnings all afternoon, and it was so great. We met with the other lady who owns it named Anne because Bonita wasn't feeling well. We learned all about what the Home of New Beginnings does here in Bangkok and how they rescue girls out of the sex trade and then they help them explore the different things that they can do with their life and ultimately get an education and start a career. There were pictures up on the wall of several girls who had graduated college. One of the girls has even come back to help the other girls and she works full time at the Home of New Beginnings. So everybody knows that Bangkok has a huge human trafficking industry and 
we learned today that Pattaya is another city about two hours south of Bangkok that's even worse. So tomorrow Anne is going to take us to visit Pattaya because they're looking to expand there and start another home of new beginnings. So typically all of our vlogs are about us and just what we're doing every day. We've never actually done a vlog with someone else and so we're really hoping we can capture their story and what they're doing here because it's really awesome the difference that they're making here in Bangkok and then hopefully in Pattaya too. Before we parted ways with Roy, he gave us a recommendation on where we should go for dinner. So we're heading to Terminal 21, which is supposed to be some type of food court place. Kapunka. 